we present the first technique for outdoor scenery lighting using neural radiance fields. Here we show the real-time interactive rendering of the extracted model in VR. We use in the well photo collections to learn coordinate-based implicit volumetric scene models that allow for simultaneous editing of the camera viewpoint and the illumination. Our technique estimates the scene intrinsics. This includes albedo, normals based on the geometry, shadows and illumination. Now we show more results for the other landmarks. Site 2 has many piecewise smooth surfaces casting a lot of shadows on itself. Site 3 includes structural details such as trees and umbrellas. Gravy Fountain contains large and small scale details, such as the sculptures, water, and surrounding buildings. Furthermore, it shows performance on data collected completely from the internet through crowdsourcing. Next, we compare our work against several state-of-the-art techniques. We compare our technique against the work of Uetal. Uetal is trained on massive datasets of different scenes and allows to relight a single photo, given the target emanation. It cannot change the viewpoint. Our method is trained only on the images of one side and can edit both the lighting and the viewpoint. Not only can we produce results of much higher resolution than their method, but they also look significantly more natural. Style-based methods, for example Nerf in the Wild, can only interpolate between learned appearances. They have no semantic control over the appearance. Our Nerf OSR decomposes the scene into multiple intrinsics. This allows for direct and meaningful manipulation of the lighting. Moreover, NARF OSR generalizes to lighting conditions impossible in real life. And it also generalizes to highly unnatural animations as well. This can be leveraged for creation of various visual effects. Due to our intrinsic decomposition, we can edit image components such as albedo or shadows independently of illumination and other intrinsics. Here, we replace the announcement poster in Site 3 with an ECC 2022 poster and rely the composite scene. Note how the replaced poster looks natural with the rest of the scene, regardless of the lighting. And in this example, we added the shadow strength post render to make them stronger or lighter. Also in contrast to style-based methods, our rendering is an explicit function of geometry, albedo, shadow, and the lighting conditions. Our model provides direct access to albedo and geometry, and the lighting and shadows can be generated from geometry using traditional methods. Hence, we can extract, render, and relight the mesh and albedo interactively in VR. All such shown applications are not possible by any means with style-based methods, such as Nerf in the Wild, as they do not perform image decomposition. 
For more results and details, please refer to the main document. Thanks for watching.